guys, welcome back. This is gonna be um, I think it's Daniel against Liam, right? Pretty sure it's Daniel against Liam. Then it's going again. He's playing Guru. Um, Liam's playing uh, Spiral. Dang, he's double combo the grave in his hand. That's not good. One second. And there's, there's some application where you can use combo the grave like against his fiendish, but then the final battle kind of protects them, gives them immunity where you, they can't they can't be negated. So that's going to be kind of an issue. But like his hand's kind of bad. Like he has. Oh, oh they, they got, he drew danger. That's that's decent. Oh, he revealed freaking call of the grave. That's not good. That card is actually pretty good, man. That card, of course, it sucks that you get the burn damage for every card you have in your hand. But like, like it's, it lets you discard like that. Like that's pretty. That's pretty crazy. Discard your rescues, discard your spiral shit, like it's just... And I think Dennis saw the call with the grave, so he's like, okay, I know he has call with the grave. Ash. He's like, I have a fiendish, so I negate it. Is it that important? <clears throat> and he gets it. I'm like, oh my god, fucking this card! Can be negated. Oh my god, yeah. That, that, that was the worst case scenario. I mean, he's still kind of in this. He still has Jack. Still has a rescue engrave. Still has um, Master Plan engrave. At this point, you just okay. Let's see. Let, let, let's just see where this goes. When you're this, when you're this depleted, all, all that's going through your mind is okay. Let's just see where this goes. Let's see how far I can get. That, that once you get to this point, it's you're depleted. You just have only one play. He strikes the master plan. <laughs> what the fuck? He didn't strike the master plan. You just search anyways. Could have waited for him to link summon. Now he has that. Okay, he goes, um, resort. Resort effect. I think he forgot his search. <laughs> his search. Oh, I freaking caught the trip! Dude, what is on? Oh my god. What the hell is happening here? Wait, what? I'm confused. Why did he. How strong is defense? Oh, it's 18. Yeah, yeah, 18. And then, um, um, agent, um, 19. Okay, that makes sense. doing what's he doing i think i would just leave the bodies on board just leave the bodies on board that's crazy man that was a crazy turn yeah okay good cycle like this on yeah okay it's good oh my god he topped the freaking pot <laughs> dude I mean that's what it, that's what the card's for though. Like I like I said in the in the first game with uh, when I was talking about their kind of B one. Um, you um, it's in, that's the intention of the card. Like you can get frustrated, you can get angry. Like well, that's the point of the card. It's just it, it doesn't mean you can't get mad though. Like you can get frustrated, if you express yourself.
confused of what he's trying to do here. Can't, does he have a response? <laughs> Draw. Did he draw? What did he draw? That, I think I saw blue. I think I saw souls. Is it souls? I mean, he still has resort. He still he can still use resort. Resort search um tough right tough. I think he's asking if they could get activation or effects or both. Like, um, so we go for tough, right? Tough. Oh, drones, interesting. Because you know, there's one's final, but he has one unknown that he's completely unaware about. Or well, was he playing that under the Kenobi one? Maybe. Bro. Oh, okay, he's going for the greedy play. <laughs> what a pitch for Frick. Um, yeah. I think I think would it be better to go for tough, tough. Um, pop, uh, pop the the face down. Bring up master plan and like you know, just try to go off from there. But then what will, what will master plan do actually? Maybe try to resort. But he gets something tough. And he's tough, tough effect again, right? Or am I missing something? Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Here we go, here we go. Game two. We're game two, game three. Fuck, I'm losing track of recording so many games today. <laughs> losing track. This game two, for sure. That's crazy how Liam freaking won with that freaking hand. Like, that was awful, dude. He's freaking mess to pull it off. That's freaking crazy. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, very few um, missteps. Of course, it's normal that players get, get um, do misplays. But um, it's, our, our locals is pretty competitive. Like, it's, it's, it's quite decent compared to, like, many, right? Many are very, like, casual-like. Um, like this was an eight round um, locals like it was it was a high round event like yeah and of course you have your casual players like you know of course but there's like a, a, a handful of a good player which is the one which is the ones that typically you play against in top eight um, a lot of the little kids uh, a lot of the new wave of kids are oh crap goes and match fuck a lot of the new wave of, um, of Yu-Gi-Oh players, little kids that uh, are, are stopping by the store are doing quite well. There was um, um, this other kid named Harrison. He was playing zombie deck. He missed his first locals there. He missed the, the, the top. Top with zombies. Like, what the hell? That's pretty crazy because there's some people that have been going for years that have never topped. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> that makes it like, what the hell? Um, and, and, and then he comes in and just wait and stops like his first event. And then... And his other, other little friend, um, Sam, Sam, he's playing Heroes, and he he comes and he makes his first, I was like, what the, these little kids just turn it up, man, it's so cool. It's good, it's, it's, it's good to see. Yeah, like, that's what you want, you want a healthy locals, like, like a healthy locals makes it to, uh, for it to grow. And it's just better for the game. It's better for you because you like. I'm assuming most of you that like, go to locals go there frequently, right? It's not like every once a month. You go like like 
like for, I go pretty much every every Saturday, every every Saturday. I've been I've been going to locals every Saturday for the past few years. Like just Yu-Gi-Oh. Saturday is the day. Saturday is Yu-Gi-Oh day, basically. So I've been going there for like quite like for years. So it's like something you do frequently. It's like a community you built around. Like it's just you see because I've seen I've been playing for like a long time. So the amount of players and, and new and old that have been going through the years it's just crazy to see and um, I've been around pretty much the most of it to see like new players the old players and they just it's just crazy like it just, it's just it's, it's exciting because like you when you see new players you want them to keep playing because it's good it's fun you know you, you want them to enjoy what you enjoy right because it's, it's a card game you want to you gonna keep playing and um, yeah back at it again fucking Floodgate, Floodgate deck. Yeah, like I said, like I mentioned in the first video, in the in the, in the first game, right? When uh, when I played Daniel. Um, the reason it's so infuriating is because he's not, he's technically not doing anything. You know, it's just the Floodgate is just stopping you from doing anything. It's like there's no, there's nothing clever about it. There's nothing. There's no next level play or some type of, you know, there's not. Th that's what it comes down to. There's nothing clever about it. And that's insinuating that okay, like what the hell? You, no one likes to lose to like a, a like a, a senseless play, you know? They're just they're just obnoxious. But that's the point of that's the point. That's the point of that, right? That's the point of it. And oh, he has caught by the grave for that. Cool. See, it's more it's more it's more so um, exciting when the opposing player facing the floodgate. Um, Play uh, is trying to play around uh, floodgate because you have to be clever with it, right? Like if a perfect example, like he has the call with the grave, like do, do little sequences like that. Has the reborn, play the reborn before the before the quick fix, you know. So like little things like that makes a big difference. He gets Ash, so I think he just kind of has to go for it. But then it's kind of like if he has strike, it's like oh crap, yeah, he has strike. What else do you have? I think I would have gone battle phase and attacked this guy. Does he have final battle? I can't remember. Does he, does he have final battle set? Can't remember because if he didn't have final battle, I would just gonna attack, get rid of the guru, and then continue to you know. This big red. Yeah, just what? Yeah, he should have gone for battle phase. He's got rid of the guru. Because now has pot man every every single if you've been watching these things, these past few matches he always oh my god either top decks it or just always has it yeah you should have got yeah you should have attacked it um Liam he has a master plan in sand that's not good at all just pass it <laughs> oh, we hit it. Oh my god. Special banish special match plan. Souls. Facing against two gurus that he's in a set. Strikes the souls. Oh my god. Yeah, it's always sweeps. Okay. Let's go to game three. Alright, let's go to game three. Here we go. Liam starting. Oh crap. How much have you actually will be want? Drawing online? Did you the Oh my god, these spiral decks and full and fucking one us man. 
zones. This is kind of weird with these type of decks, right? Because you have a bunch of Garnet, like you have these like draw two cards. You just don't want to draw them, like you don't. Resorts. Quick fix. Is he gonna go all? Oh, I think he's going for the greedy play where he goes. Sir, does that add any card, right? So he's gonna add, add um, what's his face? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna add um, what's his um, rescue? Can you even add rescue? And then discard it for souls and then draw. Yeah. Yeah, because if he got crowed there, that'd be kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, now I think he's gonna do souls now. Souls is it on summon, right? I'm pretty sure it's whenever, anytime they're a man, but you discard your. You're just baiting the ash, trying to bait the ash. Get some drama. Just gonna try to figure out Palooza first, I think. Palooza? A lion. Oh no, but then even then, that would be um, Nibiru there. He's gonna lose her. Is he gonna lose Is that four? One, two, that's not four. Wait, you can do that from the field too? Oh, that's cool. Let's just resolve the master plan and search. Palooza. Search the master plan. Yeah. I'm gonna search the resort. Go for the secret! Go for the secret! <laughs> you draw the card, man! Yeah, so I appreciate he has full combo. Yeah. Can you not try to get it up? Yeah, this is where Drill is just amazing and get against his deck. Drill or just crowing the the what's it called? Um, the the um, yeah. Hang on, gotta put this in. Plug in the charger for <laughs> the die. <laughs> Try 
try gates. Yeah, oh my god. And sleeper, to the sleeper. Oh my god, he got the servers too? Wow! That's insane! Oh, he's missing the targeting one. That's all he's missing right now. <clears throat> I think he needs like double evenly. Straight up. Double evenly wins in the game. Oh, I saw Super Bully! So, oh, okay, that, that already does something. Oh, they're all cybers. I mean, no, not all cybers. The sewer pod is quite cute, but then sleeper is just annoying as hell as well. Do what you're gonna do. I hate how it's cutting off the the, the ends of the thing. I I need, I need to like fix it to where I can get everything. I think I need to record it in the 4K thing so I can get a bigger picture. Archer in his hand. That is Archer. Did you try to crash and try to like uh, use a trigate effect? But it doesn't matter. He has um. Discard. Push it discards the ass. What? Why not get just rid of the Phoenix? Oh, it attacks all of them. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just broke his board with fucking Super Poly. That's the first time I've seen that. That's busted. Sleeper. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, he's gonna get the call by the grave. Does he have rescuing grave? No, he doesn't have rescuing grave, but like. He's ass. Ass. I mean, I guess that, that's when you should have asked, because he's gonna get tough, tough pop. Oh, it's agent. Pop the back row. I mean, either way, he can just um, sleep with the two cards. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> Snake.
That was crazy. Super Bowl, another one. Damn, fucking good. A sleeper that's protected. I'm pretty sure Dennis top decking. You can't target his card, that's quite annoying. Is that another Super Poly? Ash and Paul Wing have. It's kind of rough. They're just gonna die. Not looking good at all for Daniel. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be over. That was crazy. I'll let you guys finish the game by yourselves. Uh, hopefully, enjoy the game. <laughs> hopefully, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.